Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all doing well today. I've got some Angry Goat Pepper Company's Demon Reaper hot sauce to review today. Check out the label on that, that's awesome. Uh, before I review this, I want to wish a couple of friends happy birthdays. Jonas H. here in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada, happy birthday to you. And Graham H. in Salmon Arm, British Columbia, Canada, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to anybody who's celebrating a birthday today and to the rest of us. Let's have a great day or a happy unbirthday. What day of the week is it today? It's Wednesday today, isn't it? I actually don't even know. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure on that. I believe it might be Wednesday. It doesn't really actually matter. But actually, yes, yesterday was Taco Tuesday and I had a taco yesterday. I actually had two tacos yesterday. Pretty excited about that. It's been a long time since I had a taco on Taco Tuesday. But anyways, um, <laughs> let's get to this. Angry Goat Peppers Demon Reaper Carolina Reaper and Roasted Sweet Potato Hot Sauce. My mouth is watering already. I'm a big fan of sweet potatoes, for sure. Um, I got this in our Fuego box subscription that was gifted to me from my cousin. Um, I think this was in the, this actually might be the very last sauce from the Fuego box subscription. Because I know that this was in the, the last, the last um, shipment and the other one I know I, I have already reviewed. So unless I missed one somewhere along the line, this, this is probably the last one. Uh, let's see here. Well, I'll read you this. I actually just noticed that there's a write-up. So I'll read it for the first time out loud. In the dark recesses of hell lurk the demons of yesteryear. These demons demolish ordinary reapers, forcing the devil to call upon only the most powerful of slayers, the demon reapers. This sauce isn't your ordinary reaper sauce. When your demons come calling, vanquish them with only the most powerful of sauces, the demon reaper. Try it on pizza, pasta, subs, Mexican cuisine, or corpses. That's kind of gross. I'm sure they just mean meat, I guess. I don't know. That's, that's a weird way of putting this. Uh, the heat level. 12 out of 10. So this could be a pretty hot sauce. I don't know. First ingredient is apple cider vinegar. Then Carolina Reaper mash. Fresno pepper mash. Tomato paste. Roasted sweet potato. Red, red bell peppers roasted sweet onions, granulated garlic, sea salt, black pepper, cumin, and olive oil. Shake well, refrigerate after opening. And they are made, oh, they're in Vermont. Bradford, Vermont. Cool. I did not know that. And the artwork is by K. Graff on Goathead Graphics. Okay, cool. I really like the label. That's a super cool label. That's really awesome artwork. It's kind of a little blurry. There we go. <laughs> um, and the sauce looks delicious too. It definitely has the look of a tomato style sauce. I like the white shrink wrap as well, which I will be removing that right away. We'll have a look at the consistency of this sauce. Hope you're having a good day today. I actually, we decided to go camping last night, right there in the driveway. We just brought all the camping gear, well, the bedding, out into the driveway, put a tarp over the car and put the mosquito nets in the windows and slept in the car last night. Got up at like 6 a.m., put everything away. I think I had everything put away by like 7 a.m. and having our morning coffee here at home. <laughs> Just spur of the moment. Felt like doing it. It was a nice night last night. So, this is a medium to thin consistency sauce. Once that air bubble moves, you can see that it moves fairly freely. It's a really nice looking sauce. You can see all those ingredients in there. Looks really nice. Let's open it up. 
a little bit of a sauce plug here at the top. Actually, I'm give that another shaky shake. There's some thick sauce stuck to the lid. Let's see if we can get that stuff mixed in there nicely. Uh, yeah, I'd say that mixed it up better. It looks less thick on the lid there. <laughs> Ooh. I'm smelling the vinegar, the super hot peppers, which I can't specifically call a reaper smell. And then really nice sweetness too, I'm assuming from the sweet potato and the sweet onion. There's a few sweet things in there for sure. So let's get our spoon out and give it a try. Maggie kind of took up the most of the couch. I was actually going to sit on that side, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Let's give this stuff a pour. Try to work with that air bubble a little bit so that it doesn't cause a sauce avalanche. Really nice consistency, kind of like a pasta sauce almost. Hmm. Could fit some more on there. I'm kind of nervous, I don't want, I mean I am standing on a towel. Come on, there we go. Good chunky sauce, let's give this a try before we lose some of that. Angry Goat Peppers Demon Reaper Hot Sauce. Heat my shorts. Very pepper forward, but it has a nice sweetness to it as well. Um, the vinegar flavor, or sorry, the vinegar s smell, sorry, I should reword that. It doesn't taste as vinegary as it smells. It's hot though, that's got a good kick for sure. <laughs> I'm not specifically picking up the sweet potato. It's mostly, mostly super hot pepper forward. It really has a nice sweetness to it too but not a lot of, mm, I don't know. I was gonna say not a lot of added flavors on top of that, but that's not entirely true. It's an interesting sauce. It's very hot. It's hotter than I thought it was going to be when I saw that it was a Carolina Reaper and roasted sweet potato sauce. And for some reason, just because the apple cider vinegar was ahead of the Reaper on the ingredients list, I thought it was going to be a lot more of a me mellow sauce, but it's definitely not one of those um, gimmicky sauces. Like it's not, they didn't just put a sprinkle of reaper pepper in there so they can say it's a reaper sauce. Definitely has a great kick to it. Um, for me mostly, I'm picking up mostly super hot flavor, like super hot pepper flavor and sweet veggie flavor, like the tomato, the sweet pepper. Not really picking up the sweet potato but it's probably adding a lot of great consistency to this. I am tasting the garlic a little bit. Yeah, the garlic and the onion. Not necessarily picking up a lot of the cumin flavor. 
for a flavor rating, hmm, I'd probably give this like a seven and a half out of 10 for a flavor rating. My heat, hmm. Probably a three out of 10. Yeah, I think, I think I'm at a three out of 10 on my heat scale. If you're at habanero level, you could call this a six or a seven out of 10, having a few spoonfuls of it. If you were at jalapeno level, you'd probably call it a nine or a 10 out of 10, just having one little spoonful of this. This would have an instant searing heat for jalapeno level. I would recommend this to somebody who's looking for a pepper forward super hot sauce with some nice sweetness to it. Nice mix of veggies, tomato, onion, garlic, some herbs and spices in there. Yeah. I'm, I'd be very curious as to other people who are more familiar with sweet potato would pick up that flavor than me. I like that stutter I did there. That was a good one. Um, would I restock this one? I wouldn't not restock it, but I don't need to restock it. It's a, uh, it's a reaper sauce. I've had a lot of reaper sauces. It has a nice sweetness to it, which I have had nice sweetness reaper sauces before. Yeah, I wouldn't specifically track this down, but if I saw it, if it was a, a a fair price, I would consider buying it for sure. As far as parrots, this is a very versatile sauce. You could use this on all sorts of different kinds of meals. Like they say, pizza, pasta, subs. Sure, why not? All sorts of sandwiches. Mexican cuisine, yeah, absolutely. I still don't really like that they used corpses as a recommendation. That's a little weird, but I mean, I get it. Look at their, their logo and everything. I don't know. It's kind of a sinister sauce, I suppose. That was a lot of S's. <laughs> um, you could put this on eggs and soups, all sorts of wraps. It's very versatile. Tacos, that's Mexican cuisine, I suppose. Um, all sorts of things. Yeah, it's, this is a pretty good sauce for sure. Um, this is a good sauce, not just a pretty good sauce. It's very hot and very pepper forward though. So thank you to my buddy and cousin Kat for the year's worth of hot sauces sh shipped up here. Um, that's pretty awesome for sure. A lot of awesome different kinds of sauces to try there. And I think it progressively ramped up in heat. I think that's kind of how it worked. So anyways, I'm gonna have a little seat with this little doggy. Well, I guess I have to go this way. I moved the Monstera back into here and I can't really even walk by this way anymore. Hangs, <laughs> blocks the whole aisle. I actually need to, well, hello, did I startle you? I'm sorry. I actually need to change this a little bit. Oh, big stretch. Oh, what a cute dog. What a cute dog. Yeah, she had a nice camp out in the car last night. We snuggled all night. We both fit in there, but it's it's a little cozy, which is nice. I like cuddling with, with my little doggy. Yeah. Yeah, and then she's been out in the yard all morning, just soaking up the sun rays. I had to call her inside for this, I did. Yeah, I brought her inside. She's gotta take breaks from the sunshine too. It's pretty warm out there. So, having said that, I think we should probably get this video uploading, get my laundry started. It's laundry day today, and, whoops, sorry, sweetie. Maybe spend some more time outside in the yard today. Spent a lot of time out there yesterday. It was very enjoyable. Right, Maggie? She likes it. She loves her yard and her couch. <laughs> And all of you, we love you. We really do. We appreciate you so much. Um, not too much else to talk about here. 
I hope you all have an awesome day today. In this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, Fuego Boxes YouTube channel. Hop over there and check out their content and consider subscribing to their channel. Up here, some content for you to enjoy. Have a great day, everyone. I love you all very much, and we will hang out again soon. I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.